tonight's soccer match is we thank you, Hartford Wolverines, and your Nevada Cubs. We appreciate all visiting fans to sit on the east side of the field and the home field reserved for the Nevada fans. This contest is being played in accordance with the rules of the Iowa High School Athletic Association. These rules provide for fair competition among players and schools. Sportsmanship is a priority in the Iowa High School Athletic Association and the Nevada Community School District. Each person is asked to take personal responsibility for keeping this contest at the highest level of good sportsmanship. Please let the players play, the coaches coach, and the officials officiate. Good sportsmanship starts with you. Now the starters for the visiting Dyke New Hartford Wolverines. At keeper, wearing number one, Miranda Tyler. Number two, Sylvie Fuller. Number four, Lucy Varney. Number five, Sophia Bennett. Number eight, Pinky Foster. Number nine, Drew Peterson. Number 10, Joy Eilbert. Number 12, Mallory Peterson. Number 13, Hannah Steffen. Number 22, Anna Baring. Number 23, Riley Reeves. And now the starters for your Nevada Cubs. Number two, Tori Meineke. Number five, Lindsey Gertis. Number seven, Vanessa Reed. Number nine, Lexi Betting. Number 12, Belle Nelson. Number 13, Aubrey Thompson. Number 14, Evelyn Anderson. Number 20, Tracy Schiller. Number 28, Reagan Davis. And a keeper wearing number 35, Josie Farmer. Please stand and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, soccer fans, and welcome to another night of Nevada Cubs soccer. Tonight we have the girls uh, matchup in a out of out of uh, conference contest uh, between the five and two Dyke New Hartford Wolverines and the home Nevada Cubs, who are six and three and ranked number five in Class One A. Blustery night here tonight. Uh, winds uh, probably 25 to 30 miles an hour steady out of the north and west, uh, so it will uh, make uh, make a difference on which direction teams are going. Nevada will be headed into the wind for the first half, and uh, 
Should be a good matchup. Uh, traditionally a good team. Dyke New Hartford not in the ratings, uh, although uh, they have only lost to two rated teams. Lost to number seven Hudson four to one, and uh, number eight Denver two to one. So uh, only two losses uh, on the season, and uh, both to uh, rated one A teams. So uh, and uh, quite honestly, over the last two or three years, uh, uh, certainly Dyke has been up in the rankings and up in one of the top teams of Class One A. Nevada with an early opportunity here. Bell Nelson up on the wet edge. She'll fire a shot at the keeper, and it's scooped up and saved by Miranda Tyler. Cubs three losses on the season, also all to rated teams. A loss to number two Gilbert in the first game of the season, one nothing in overtime. A loss to a Class Two A opponent, number four North Polk, uh, and just recently over the weekend, lost uh, to the number eight rated Three A team in Waukee, two to nothing. So again, all losses here uh, for these two teams against rated opponents, and uh, so uh, theoretically should have a good matchup here. Thompson's got the ball at the top of the D, dispossessed. Evelyn Anderson finds Aubrey Thompson in the middle. Thompson trying to possess, and she can't hold it. The ball goes out for a Cub throw. So, again, expecting a great matchup here tonight. Uh, if Nevada has had any bugaboo, it's been scoring against uh, top-notch competition, and that's not going to get any easier tonight with the absence of Avery Anderson. Uh, Avery, unfortunately, uh, in a boot, uh, and uh, so not sure exactly what kind of injury. Uh, Coach Davis said, uh, said uh, hopefully we're going to have her back within a week or two, but uh, uh, she is out for tonight's contest, and that's the leading goal scorer for Nevada with 12 goals on the season. So... A uh, big piece of the uh, Nevada offense missing this evening. Uh, so we're going to have to have some other players step up and uh, see if uh, we can find a way to put the ball in the back of the net. Meineke finds Thompson at the top of the D. Lots of pass to betting who can't quite control, and it's out for a goal kick. Cubs have had some promising looks already in the first uh, first four or five minutes of the match here. But, and only one shot on goal. Nevada in, Varney with a centering pass. Ball cleared away by Gibson. And Nevada looks to counter with Thompson. Forwarding pass to Betting. She's onside. Finds Nelson. And the ball cleared out by Mallory Peterson. Meineke finds Thompson. Thompson back to Davis. Over to Lindsey Gertis. Centering pass to Betting. Lexi can't quite control, just tries to get it under her feet. Gertis re-controls for the Cubs.
Nelson finds Vanessa Reed. Looking for the middle, finds Thompson. Nelson has it in the box. She'll circle back out, finds Reed again. Centering pass, falls to Gracie Schiller. Shot blocked by the defense. Betting has it. And can't find a way through. Dyke certainly putting a lot of people behind the ball. Uh, playing really with only a single striker and not really committing a lot of people to the attack at this point. Certainly with the wind, you might think they might be a little more aggressive. Meineke finds Nelson again. Looking for betting. Betting has it. Curtis looks for a shot. It's blocked. Yeah, Dyke New Hartford also playing without their top scorer this evening, or at least not in the starting lineup, and that's Gentry Swartz. Uh, she leads their team with six goals on the season and uh, not in the starting 11 uh, this evening. So... Not sure uh, what the situation is there with uh, with their lineup, but uh, so both teams lacking their top goal scorers here in this tonight's contest. Gertis to betting. Schiller finds Meineke in the middle. Finds Reed on the outside. Looking for Nelson. Nelson trying to get to the end line. She'll cross. Little over the head of Thompson. Gertis battling for the ball. And Aubrey Thompson's going to get a little trip and uh, whistle for the foul. Dyke New Hartford free kick. Wolverine's second leading scorers are uh, Lucy Varney and Anastasia Baring. Varney, a uh, multi-sport athlete, was a setter on their uh, state championship volleyball team. Lots of athletic uh, tradition at Dark New Hartford. and uh, So good game for the Cubs to, uh, to play. Nevada's always been, uh, been known for playing a challenging schedule and want to play some of the best teams in the state. So they'll be prepared when they get to the, hopefully get to the state tournament. So that's no different than this evening. Meineke with lots of space in the middle. 
She'll find, oh, almost tried to find Nelson on a through ball, but great defense. Good look by Reagan Davis. Just couldn't quite connect with Nelson. Bell still gets to it. Cross to Thompson. Now Schiller. And ball cleared away by Dyke New Hartford for an evaded throw. Rachel Borwick and Maya Spikerman into the lineup for the Cubs. They'll replace Lindsey Gertis and Vanessa Reed. Certainly as the game's starting to take shape, uh, clearly uh, Dyke New Hartford a little more defensive-minded, uh, definitely uh, putting lots and lots of folks behind the ball. Linesman had his flag up for offsides against betting for about 30 seconds. Center referee just didn't see it. So that play was whistled for offsides and free kick for the Wolverines. Even when the ball goes forward, uh, Dyke New Hartford, not one person got past the half line there uh, on the uh, offensive attack. So clearly the thought process here is try to keep Nevada from scoring and maybe try to find lightning in a bottle somewhere in the game. Heineke has the ball, through pass, finds Borwick. Borwick left foot, up over the top of the bar. Great scoring chance for the Cubs right there. Rachel's first touch of the game, that's always a little unfortunate when your first touch has to be a shot, but uh, just a little up over the top of the bar for the Nevada sophomore. Good look for the Cubs, good scoring opportunity. Sarah Mahari into the lineup for the Cubs. She'll replace Lexi Betting. Thompson with a centering pass. Nobody really home. And the ball gets scooped up by Tyler. Thank <laughs> you. 
Meineke controls. She finds Nelson in the middle. Shannon Mormon and Alexi Heminover into the lineup for the Wolverines. Gertis back into the lineup for the Cubs. So searching for Nelson in the middle. Can't quite find her. So Nelson usually occupying a right outside midfield position has kind of been moved up to the left in the front. And the game's going to be stopped for a potential head injury here. And that is, looks, looks like Drew Peterson caught that centering attempt from Borwick uh, right squarely, right in the, right in the, uh, look, look like in the head or in the neck and neck area. Borwick with a good centering pass, trying to find Nelson. Ball gets played back to the keeper and played out. Borwick again has the ball out on the left edge. Gertis finds Mahari. Mahari back to Gertis. Lexi, Lindsay cuts inside and is dispossessed. Check back in for the Cubs, Aubrey Thompson and Lexi Betting. Gertis has the ball in the box. <laughs> Gertis finds the middle. Looks for betting out on the edge. So you'll keep it in. And she'll win a corner for the Cubs. First corner of the match. Vanessa Reed will be set to check back in for the Cubs. Entering 
Tori Meineke will take this uh, corner kick for the Cubs as they crash in, and the wind takes it hard up the middle of the field. Evelyn Anderson trying to gain control for the Cubs. Reagan Davis has it. She'll cycle it back to Gibson. And the Cubs pull the Wolverines out of defense a little bit. Opens up the field. Reed, centering pass, headed away, still uncontrolled. Meineke wins the battle. Gertis has it. She'll split two defenders. And forwarding pass to Betting, who's going to – can't quite get there, and ball goes out. Schiller steps in. Nice tackle. Emily Kelly checking into the match. Uh, she'll replace Meineke, who's going to get a quick blow. I'm sure Tori won't be out long, but uh, Emily going to come in and give Tori a little rest. Borwick searching for Gertis. Peterson re-entering the match, and Anastasia Bering also coming back in. Good to see Peterson back in after being subbed out, after taking a ball to the face there. So good to see, uh, good to see the player back in. Emily Kelly has the ball out on the edge. She looked for Thompson in the middle. Aubrey gets dispossessed. Kelly wins it back. Borwick has it. She'll find a centering pass. Gertis still chasing it down, and the ball goes out over the end line for a Cub corner. Rachel Borwick to take the corner for the Cubs. Tricky here to get the right weight with the wind behind you. Ball played on the ground. And great look. Evelyn Anderson had a shot, just couldn't quite get her feet to it. Another good scoring goal opportunity for the Cubs. Just cannot find the net. Have uh, tested the keeper really only once. Uh, that was the first shot of the match by Nelson. 
otherwise, the have not put a shot on really on frame or on goal. Gertis. Take the throw for the Cubs. Evelyn Anderson. There's a shot by the Wolverines. That was Anastasia Baring from distance. Not a bad thing to shoot from distance when uh, when the wind's behind you, as it is here. Uh, certainly, ball does some funny things up into the up into a strong wind like this. Gibson drops back for the long forwarding pass. And Davis plays the ball out off the defender. Nevada throw. Meineke. The match for the Cubs. Number two, Tori Meineke and number 12, Bell Nelson. Meineke and Nelson entering back into the lineup for the Cubs. 12-39 left to go in the first half and a scoreless match here in Nevada. Cubs look to build some offense. Betting has the ball in the middle. She'll press the defense. A little bit of heavy touch. It is still in possession. Vanessa Reed's going to have it with space. She'll look for centering. Thompson has the ball. Dance with it. Back to Reed. Tries to center. Ball winded, wind aided, almost went backwards. A little heavier weight on the passes going into the wind, certainly. Ball deflected out, and that's going to be a Wolverine corner. Looks like Varney is set to take that for the Wolverines. They'll press some people forward here. First time they've looked really dangerous in the match. Varney with a good corner kick. Hanging up right over the middle, sitting in the box, and ball saved by Farmer. Dangerous ball in the box that the Cubs did not clear effectively and uh, just kind of bounced, and Farmer was able to pounce on it.
Borwick has the ball out on the edge. Bell Nelson finds betting in the middle, can't handle. Dyke looks to counter, but displaced. Nelson again has the ball. Coaching staff has moved her over into this uh, left-hand side. Thompson looking to try to find somebody. She's got a couple defenders. Lifts the ball up to the middle, finding Nelson. Borwick on the backside. Hits Schiller at the top of the D. And Gracie can't quite find a way through. Varney looks to counter for the Wolverines. Evelyn Anderson on her defensively. And the Cubs look to take it back the other direction. Jaden Zedeker and Riley Reeks into the Wolverine lineup. And Lindsey Gertis uh, returning to the Cub lineup for Vanessa Reed. Seven minutes left to go in the first half in a scoreless match. Cubs looking to find a way to see if they can put one on the board here before halftime. Thompson has the ball in the middle. She'll find Borwick out on the left. Borwick with a great cross. And Betting can't quite, uh, can't quite get past the keeper. Great cross by Borwick. Just couldn't quite get a foot on it. Lexi had a good opportunity there. But good offense from the Cubs. Bell Nelson pressing out on the left. Nice move by Nelson. Finds Betting in the center. She'll find Meineke. Looks for Gertis over on the right. Gertis with a centering pass. Just can't turn the corner and goes out over the end line for a goal kick. Again, Cubs building up some nice offense. Just can't quite get it together in the uh, final third. Looking for a good, clean shot. Haven't had one uh, since uh, the early moments of the match. Gibson finds Anderson. Evelyn forwards ball up. 
Can't quite connect. Thompson <laughs> drops. Betting takes the ball out on the edge. Beats the defender. Looking for a cross. Meineke. Oh, almost a handball there in the box. Cubs still in possession. Schiller lining up for a shot. Goes nowhere into the wind. Ball collected by Miranda Tyler. Nice job by the Dyke New Hartford keeper. That ball had a lot of backspin on it and uh, securely handled by the Dyke New Hartford keeper, Miranda Tyler. Drew Peterson into the match, replacing Joel, Joy Eildertz. Cub is back in possession. Nelson taking up a more central, central position for the Cubs. That's kind of been their answer to Avery Anderson not being available. Trying to put Bell in some more dangerous positions. Meineke has the ball up to Thompson through ball. Quickly surrounded by the Dyke New Hartford defense. Schiller has it. She'll find Meineke again. To betting on the edge. The ball cleared away for an evaded throw. Two minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the first half. Cubs looking, looking for a goal before halftime. Ball kicked out by Dyke New Hartford for a Cub corner. Meineke will take this one for the Cubs. Cubs will bring, uh, bring quite a few folks forward. Evan, Evelyn Anderson, a favorite target here. Ball gets played at the keeper, played out, and it's a corner. Nope. Uh, actually, official, lead official, uh, center official, uh, ruled goal kick. Varney jumps on the loose ball. Anderson recovers to play it out. Ball up, looking for Nelson. Nelson still trying to possess. Cleared away by Mallory Peterson. Thirty seconds left. Cubs looking for one more opportunity here with twenty seconds left to go in the first half. Gertis tries to find Nelson in the middle. Anderson, one more centering pass. And the ball cleared away harmlessly by Dyke New Hartford. And that'll take us to halftime. A scoreless match, 0-0 here in Nevada. We'll take a 10-minute halftime, and we'll be back for second-half action between the Nevada Cubs and the Dyke New Hartford Wolverines.
Cubs 2, Iowa Falls 0 on 25 minutes of play.
So, about time to go to the second half. Uh, in tonight's matchup, the teams will switch ends. Uh, Cubs will get the benefit of uh, the breeze a uh, little bit more uh, in this second half. We'll see if that uh, makes a difference or plays a role. Thompson's got the ball in the middle. Looking for relief out on the edge. She'll find Vanessa Reed. Betting with a diagonal run. Cuts back to the middle. Reagan Davis up to Gertis. Find Nelson in the middle. Who finds Thompson? She makes a turn. And Aubrey has a shot that goes well wide of the goal. Just couldn't get her left foot quite around that. Wolverines will have a goal kick. Reed has the ball. Centering pass, but uh, nobody home. Anderson looking for a forwarding pass. Betting trying to get on the end of it. Just couldn't quite get there. A little too much, but uh, good play. Good forwarding pass by Evelyn Anderson. Thompson forwarded up to Betting. Betting will have a shot. A footed right at the keeper, and Tyler scoops it up and has it in hand for the Wolverines. Not a lot on it, but uh, at least uh, made the keeper uh, work a little bit. Meineke looking back door for Nelson, finds Thompson. And Aubrey Thompson finds the back of the net for the Cubs. Great ball by Bell Nelson. Good work by the Cubs. And a 1-0 score with 36-13 left to go in the match. That was a Cub goal by number 13, Aubrey Thompson. So right away to open the second half, the uh, win proves to pay dividends as Bell Nelson 
found Aubrey Thompson, and Thompson got behind the defense and beat the keeper short-sighted. Thompson lifts the ball to the middle. Tyler scoops it up. Thompson's ninth goal of the season. That's second on the team. Wolverines look to get a little more offensively minded here. There's Varney trying a centering pass. Gets held up by the wind. Schiller heads it down. Davis will find Nelson out on the left side. Nelson pressing the middle of the field. She's looking for Thompson on a through ball. Little aggressive. Aubrey's going to get to it. She'll center again. Oh, and just missed the feet of betting. Great pass by Aubrey Thompson. Cubs still have it in the zone. Gertis looks backside and scooped up by Tyler. Another great scoring opportunity by the Cubs. Great run by. Lexi, great pass by Aubrey. Just uh, everything but the finish there, unfortunately. Ball falls to Gertis. Up, lifts the shot just wide. Entering the match, entering the match for the Wolverines, number 38, Jaden Zedeker. Jaden Zedeker into the match. She'll replace Riley Reeks. Well, certainly uh, Cubs looking much more dangerous uh, here with the, uh, with the wind in the second half so far has uh, already equaled their first half uh, scoring opportunities already. And we're uh, not uh, quite eight minutes into, uh, into the half. Emily Kelly and Maya Spikerman into the lineup for the Cubs. They'll replace Reed and Gertis. Thompson with a great turn. Uh, well defended there by Hannah Steffen. Dyke New Hartford's center back did a great job of just staying in and making a solid tackle. And there she is again on the ball. Thank you. 
match for the Cubs, number 18, Rachel Borway. Rachel Borwick into the lineup for the Cubs. She'll replace Lexi Betting. Reagan Davis with a, an aggressive forwarding pass. Nobody on the end of that. Thompson lifts a shot, and it's going to sail up over the bar. Again, as we said, shooting from distance with the wind behind you, not a bad idea as the ball can do some interesting things, but a little too aggressive by Thompson. Spikerman finds Nelson. She'll find Meineke in the middle. And forwarding pass to nobody there to make the run. Tyler scoops it up. Thompson out on the right edge. She'll look for Borwick in the middle. And ball cleared away by the Wolverines. Nelson weaving through traffic. Great ball control by 12. She'll lift the one up. Hits the far post. Spikerman clears it back out all the way to Davis. Davis is going to look for a shot. She lifts the ball up and hits the bar. Great shot by Reagan Davis. Still in play for the Cubs. Borwick has it in the middle. The Cub senior defender was looking to get into the scoring column and almost did it. Shannon Mormon onto the pitch for the Dyke New Hartford Wolverines. Anderson with a forwarding pass that just is a little too far. Scooped up by Tyler. Nevada finds possession again. This is Kelly. She'll forward up to Thompson. Looks and surveys her options. Nice long ball. Headed away by Sophia Bennett. Davis again looking for opportunity. And a foul whistled on Dyke New Hartford. And that'll be a free kick for the Cubs. In a very dangerous position here. And Evelyn Anderson's going to get over the top of this one. And I would not be surprised to see her look for a goal opportunity right here. She'll ask for 10 and get it. Anderson set to take the kick. 
and just a little too high up over the bar. Actually, quite a bit too high. Didn't strike that very, very well. I think Evelyn will tell you that uh, a little disappointing on her end. Like to have a little better opportunity. Entering the match for the Wolverines, number 21, Alexi Hammerover for the Cubs, and number nine, Lexi Petty. Schiller forwarding pass up to Nelson. Nelson has it. She's going to look for a cross. Ball's crossed the middle, hits Borwick, and cleared away. Up to Varney. She's dispossessed. Score from Iowa Falls. The uh, Cub boys are up three to nothing with. Just over a minute left to go in the match, so it looks like the Cub boys will snag a win up against the Cadets. Entering the, ma Entering the match for the Wolverines, number 23, Riley Reeves. And ball gets out over the end line for a Cub corner kick. Meineke will line that up for the Cubs. Meineke. Wind bent that ball. Back toward the near post and goes out off of a Nevada player for a goal kick. Varney looking for an option for the uh, Wolverines. Takes the ball just a little too far into traffic. And Davis plays it out of harm's way. Nelson has the ball. She'll find Meineke. Forwarding pass up to Borwick.
Davis finds Schiller. Back to Davis. Finds Spikerman. He's looking for Nelson. And the ball goes out over the end line for a Dyke New Hartford goal kick. Aaron the match. The Wolverines is number nine for Peterson. For the Cubs, we have number five, Nikki Curtis, number seven, Vanessa Reed, and number 13, Aubrey Thompson. Drew Peterson back into the lineup for the Wolverines. And in for the Cubs was Lindsey Gertis, Vanessa Reed, and Aubrey Thompson. Lexi betting on the ball. And dangerous enough, it has to be cleared away. Ball forwarded up by Anderson. Nobody making a back post run. Anderson getting up the field. She'll look for the throw. Middle of the box. Falls back to Anderson. She'll look for a cross. Ball comes out. Punched out. Keeper out. Cubs can't quite get back to the ball. Ball falls to Borwick in the midfield. She'll lift the shot right at Tyler, who's handled cleanly. Aubrey Thompson makes a move around the defender, looking for a through ball. Nevada, a little bit uh, playing in a phone booth uh, to some degree. Uh, But he's bunched in the middle of the field. Uh, probably like to see a little bit more spread out, a little more uh, option that way. Makes the centering passes awfully hard when you're bringing everybody to you. Bell Nelson with some good ball handling. She looks for a centering pass. That's cleared away by Bennett. Borwick back on the ball. Thompson fires a shot right at Tyler, and she'll scoop it up. A little better there as the Cubs got that on the left side and resulted in a good scoring opportunity. Ball lifted up to Betting. And Tyler 
Grabs it. Betting's going to be whistled for the foul. As she collided with the keeper. Good play by Tyler to come out and grab a what might have been a dangerous forwarding pass. Warwick finds Thompson in the middle. Gertis with the ball. She'll cut back inside. Surrounded by three defenders, and the ball cleared away. Entering the basket for the Wolverines, number two, Sylvie Fuller, number three, Jake Zedeker for the Cubs, number two, Tori Mike. Sylvie Fuller and Jaden Zedeker back into the match for the Wolverines. Tori Meineke back into the lineup for the Cubs. She'll replace uh, Borwick. Rachel gave some good minutes there and a couple good centering passes. Nice control of the ball in the midfield. Schiller on the ball. She'll find Reed. Reed forwards up to Betting. Betting finds Meineke. And Meineke dispossessed by Foster. Here's a forwarding pass up to Bell Nelson. Defended over there by Stefan again. Active defender for the Wolverines. Reagan Davis again lifts the ball up. And it just floats out over the end line for a Wolverine goal kick. Varney back into the lineup for the Wolverines. Just under 13 minutes left to go in the match with the Cubs holding a 1-0 lead thanks to an Aubrey Thompson goal. At the 36-minute mark of the second half. Davis clears it away. And Thompson centering pass. She's going to look for Betting, who's just in an offside position. Wolverines trying to get a little more offensive here as they're uh, getting down to 
11 minutes left to go in the game with the Cubs holding a one nothing lead. Thompson finds space in the middle. She'll look to forward to betting. Thompson back onto the ball. Great hustle by Aubrey. She fires across across the field. Nobody's going to get to that. The wind took that ball just a little bit from Aubrey, but great effort on her part to get back on the ball. Forwarding pass by Anderson. Betting on it. She'll cut it back to the middle. Surrounded by players. Couldn't get it out of her feet to find a cub option, and it's cleared away for Dyke New Hartford. Curtis with a heavy weighted pass that goes out over the end line for a goal kick. Thompson finds betting, betting battling. Schiller back on the ball, finds betting again. Moves out to her left, and ball hit off of the handball off of Stefan, and that's going to result in a penalty kick opportunity for the Cubs as that happened in the box. Looks like Reagan Davis will be stepping up to take the PK for the Cubs as the Cubs look to go up 2 nothing. Yes. Stefan, who's played a, uh, played a great game at defender, unfortunate with the handball there, and saved by Tyler. Great save by the Dyke New Hartford keeper and keeps the score at 1-0. Great play as her defenders come back and give her a little high five. Great play by Miranda Tyler. Well done by the dark New Hartford keeper. Ball out to Reed. Meineke lifts a shot, and Tyler gathers it in. Anderson has the ball. She's going to look for a forwarding pass. Trying to keep it in. And it's going to go out for a Dyke New Hartford throw. Entering the match for Wolverine in the third quarter. And later, and for the Cubs, number 26, Maya Spike, and number 18, Rachel Forward. Janae Winger entering the match for the Dyke New Hartford Wolverines. The first time uh, she's been in uh, tonight for the Wolverine lineup. And Spikerman and Borwick back into the lineup for the Cubs. Foul throw. As the ball went out of bounds. And Anderson will trigger it in for the Cubs. Bell Nelson presents a big target in the box, and that's who she's looking for. Bell turns. And ball gets 
kicked off a bell and goes out for a goal kick. Six twenty four left to go in the match. Meineke picks up the loose ball. Thompson plays it through traffic, weaving through defenders, looking for a crossing opportunity. Borwick plays the ball to the corner. There's betting. Ball kicked out by the Wolverines, and that will result in an innovative corner kick. Corner kick by Monarchy. Ball headed down. Find Anderson. Saved by Tyler. Thompson has the ball. She'll look, look to turn the corner, cross, and just into the side netting. Drew Peterson back into the match for the Wolverines. Tyler lifts a goal kick. Finds Baring in the middle of the field. She's dispossessed by Schiller. Three thirty left to go in the match. The Cubs on the offensive. Ball finds Borwick out on the right edge. She'll look for a shot, and it's lifted up, and that's Tyler with another save. Good shot by Rachel Borwick. Bell Nelson has the ball, looking for a forwarding pass to Thompson. Tyler off her line. She'll slide out and corral another one. Borwick with a nice, nice play and nice effort. She'll look to go near post and just outside. Good effort by Rachel. Lindsey Gertis set to check back in for the Cubs. Entering the match for the Cubs, number five, Lindsey Gertis. Two minutes 
left to go in the match. Sign. Thompson has the ball in space. A little bit of a heavy touch. Dispossessed by Foster. Thompson again on the ball for the Cubs. Falls to Meineke. She'll find Borwick out over on the right side. Borwick still in possession. She tries to find Gertis. Can't get turned the right way. Ball goes out. Just over a minute left to go in the match with the Cubs clinging to a 1-0 lead. Dyke New Hartford plays it out again. That was Mallory Peterson with the clearance. Anderson with a big boot crossing into the box looking for Spikerman. On the back side, Maya can't quite get to it. Thirty seconds left to go in the match here, and the Cubs look to just hold on to possession and salt this one away with a hard-fought one-nothing victory. Borwick will take the ball to the corner. She'll try to possess. Oh, she does try to play it across, but does get kicked out with 10 seconds left. And the Cubs, victorious tonight at home against a very, very solid Dyke New Hartford squad. one nothing. Cubs will be back in action on Monday night at Perry against the Blue Jays Monday evening, 7 o'clock at Perry High School. And then on Thursday, uh, the Nevada girls will host Pella, and that game will be at the score complex. Once again, a well-played game between both teams. With Nevada coming out on top, thanks to a Aubrey Thompson goal and a Bell Nelson assist for a one nothing victory, and the Cubs move to seven and three on the season and look to keep the momentum going forward as they jump into Heart of Iowa Conference action on Monday against Perry. <laughs> 